Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm about to go ahead and start dinner. I pulled out chicken thighs a couple days ago, and um, yesterday I ended up making the Salisbury steak for like a lunch slash dinner. I didn't film it because I was just trying to make it relatively quick and I saw that like not that many people were interested in it. It was a decent recipe. I can link the recipe in the description box below and if I forget to link it and someone's interested please just let me know and I'll link it. Um, it was really easy. It was quick and uh, it was like a decent one. Um, so today we're having Mongolian crock pot chicken. I'm not really sure how true it is to Mongolian chicken because it's literally five ingredients and um, it sounded simple but I'm hoping it's going to also be delicious. So we're gonna go start that in the crock pot. Luca is going to go down for his first nap. I need to charge my watch. Luca is going to go down for his first nap here in about um, like 30-ish minutes and then once he wakes up from his first nap I think I'm going to go out in the garage and maybe sand using the sander um, the or try to we're, we're gonna test a piece of furniture and see how far we can get on the sanding last night I was laying in bed and I was trying to like think so I have the liquid sandpaper, but I don't think the liquid sandpaper is going to get the wood down to what I'm imagining. I think it's literally just going to take the gloss off of it. It's not going to take the stain off of it. I could be wrong, but I'm still thinking that I'm going to need to hand, not hand sand, but like the uh, sander on the top of where I want it down to natural wood and then just liquid sandpaper the rest of it to prepare that for primer if that makes sense so let's go in the kitchen let's start dinner and get that going okay so i'm gonna go ahead and gather all the things we need which is going to be soy sauce excuse me key brown sugar minced ginger which I had to buy bro Nico trying to get up on the thing that you put up on its side dude that was scary as hell thought the house was like falling down anyhow had to have Kevin pick up ground ginger because I don't ever use that and then it says garlic powder I'm gonna add onion powder too even though it doesn't call for it because why not um and that's it so this seems very simple and straightforward I'm hoping that um I'm going to go ahead and pop this on low so it can start warming up now. I'm hoping that this is going to be good because <laughs> it seems very simple. I love simple recipes, but this seems almost too simple. I'm also hoping that my chicken, oh yeah, is nice and thawed. So I've had it thawing this for a second. I've had it thawing in the refrigerator for like two days now. We had it in the deep freeze and it says that I need five chicken thighs so that leaves me with three chicken thighs um, that I can throw in a bag for the time being and then use them for another recipe. I have another chicken recipe coming up. Calling for five, two, okay, 
I'm gonna try to pull from the outside, which seems to be the most defrosted. Three, four, and then one more, five. We still are a tad just slightly frozen, I think because of the bone, but. <clears throat> All right, so then let's put the rest of this chicken. Here out of the bag and pop it back in the fridge. Okay. All right. So now we're going to work on our sauce. Let me make sure you guys are still recording because I don't trust my phone. So we're gonna need one fourth and one half. We're gonna need a spoon. All right, so do I need to mix all of this together in a bowl? Nope, just says mix all the ingredients and set the chicken in the slow cooker skin side up. I'm going to mix it all in a bowl and then pour it over. I want it to be like incorporated. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So one fourth cup of soy. I've got Kikomen. Our dark brown sugar specifically dark brown sugar is what it called for we're going to pack our brown sugar it calls for a half a cup okay so we've got a half a cup of dark brown sugar dump that in move this to the back for a second then we need a half a teaspoon of this ground ginger. I'm not a huge ground ginger fan, but I feel like if I left this part out, it wouldn't have the taste that I'm hoping for. So trust in the process. One half teaspoon. Cap this. And then a half teaspoon of garlic. And I'm also going to do onion powder and I'm just going to eyeball these because how do you, how do you use too much of either of those? You know what I mean? All right. So now I'm going to whisk. This does not seem like enough sauce for this much chicken. So, but I'm, I th I'm thinking the chicken's gonna create some, what do you call it? Liquid. Oh, okay. This is more sauce than, than I thought, maybe. Give you guys a look. This is what we are looking like. We're gonna pop the lid on it and let it cook on low for eight hours. All right, welcome to the garage. Um, I think what I'm gonna do today is <clears throat> try to sand the top of this flat cabinet and see how far, I can, it is cold out here. See how far I can get on that, I'm thinking like once I get moving and stuff, I'll probably heat up so I won't need a jacket, but we'll see. It's in the 50s and it's been raining for like two straight days. <clears throat> Side note, I am feeling almost back to normal, which is exciting. I still have like three more days of amoxicillin to take, but other than that, we're doing great. So, praise be. Um, so anyhow, I need to find a extension cord and uh, 
set up my sander. All right, I found an extension cord. So I'm gonna point you guys down and we're gonna start sanding and see what result we can get. not getting down to what I thought it was going to be. I almost, I feel like the stain is like really deep into it. I'm, I'm like, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Hold on. So this is what, this is what it's looking like. That's the original color. That is what I've gotten it down to. And I thought it was gonna be more like this kind of wood, like what the drawers are made out of. So I'm like, hmm, do I like this look? Or do I just paint it all black? That's where I'm at now. Do I keep going on this, this, and that piece, which would be the last pieces, and just see how I feel. Because I can paint over it, probably no issue. And then, I'm thinking like once this is actually black, I might like this more. So I th think that's what I'm gonna do. checked him out with Luca a second ago but I don't think they were in frame because I was working on the bookcase side um and he had me switch my grit to a different grit which helped a little bit um so the issue that I'm having now is that with the big plug-in sander I can't get to the corners of the bookcases in the back. And um, I was like, Kevin came out and I was like, am I gonna have to hand sand these like corners and like crannies that I can't get into? And he said that he has a multi-tool that has like a sander adapter on it that should be able to get those. So I'm not sure exactly like when he can get that to me. Um, Maybe it sounded like it was at work or something. So anyhow, I'm done as much as I can for today with the sander that I have. Um, so my next step, I guess, would be to liquid sandpaper the rest of it. Um, but in my head, I'm like, I need to read the liquid sandpaper thing again because now there's saw, I almost said sawdust, but now, now there's like wood dust everywhere. So I think I have to go back through with like some, like a wet sponge. Why did it just randomly slow down in front of my house? I think I need to go back through with a wet sponge and just get the sawdust, sawdust, the wood dust, off everything before I liquid sandpaper because I think the it would mess the liquid sandpaper up I think because I think it's supposed to be free of debris let me look it's saying 
it's saying the only thing that would mess the liquid sandpaper up <laughs> is like grease or wax buildup. So because I use the TSP, I shouldn't have that issue. So before I use the liquid sandpaper, I'll probably just take one of my um, clean rags that came in my little pack and just wipe everything down, like brush all of the dust off and then liquid sandpaper. But Kevin has been hanging out with Luca and he took him to his room while I was sanding. And he said, even, even with the sound machine off, you can barely hear the sander out here. So just me being a paranoid mother. Um, so now I know that if I wanted to sand while he's napping, I can. So love that for me which will help with the multi-tool situation. So yeah, I guess I'm done for today. Um, my dad is going to come over and join us for dinner for the stuff that I have in the crock pot. Kevin is, I need to go and take a shower actually. Kevin is going to leave and go get a haircut during Luca's second nap, which I don't even know what time it is, but it shouldn't be time for Luca's second nap. Um, but, uh, and he's going to do a quick little grocery shop. We didn't use a lot of our groceries while I was sick. We used like our milk and stuff like that, like staple groceries, but we didn't, I didn't do my meals that I had planned out. So we did not meal plan for this grocery list. It's just picking up stuff that we need for the house. So nothing exciting or crazy. So that's kind of the plan for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go in, take a nice hot shower, and then hang out with the boys until Kevin leaves for his hair appointment and Luca goes down for a second nap. But I'm pretty happy with how far I got today. I wish it all was as simple as this one and that the bookcases, I was able to get into the sides better. Um, I can show you guys what I mean. Okay, so this is what I mean by like, there's like this ring in these where the thing couldn't get to. I think this triangle one is actually the worst one. It's got like do 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 that I can't get. But Kevin said not to worry that his multi tool should be able to get it. But I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be okay. I told Kevin I'm really bad at. I've come to the conclusion that I'm really bad at being able to look at something and kind of like see a final product, which I thought that like I was good at and like didn't have an issue doing until just recently. And it may just be like a having a baby kind of thing, like a mental block going on. I just panicked for a second and was like, do I need, I forgot about this piece. And I was like, do I need to do anything to it? I don't, it's gonna be all black. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure like if it's a mental block going on that I have from having a baby, but I haven't been able to like think of things in my head and like visualize them very well. So, um, I'm having a hard time visualizing what this is going to look like once it's painted black and then the tops are going to be the wood just because it's a different wood than I thought it was going to be like it's ending up looking differently so I'm having a hard time visualizing how the end product is going to be but I guess I can always it's going to be fine I'm manifesting it's going to be fine anyhow okay I'm done out here for today oh my god everything is dusty I'm gonna have to wipe that down before I bring it back inside. I'm gonna have to wipe myself down before I bring myself back inside. No shoes. Okay. I'll catch up with you guys probably around dinner. <laughs> I just did a steamed bag of veggies and then I put some of our mixture or sauce over it, but I ended up adding one um, tablespoon of garlic 
minced garlic to this an hour and a half after it got or hour and a half before it got done cooking for eight hours um and i think it elevated it a lot more than what it would have been without the garlic so excited to try it my dad's here for dinner so yay are you ready it smells delicious i'm hoping it's good it was incredibly simple to make so i'm hoping it actually has flavor it's mm. hot as balls That's that flavor. Mm. That's good. That's tender. Yeah. That's what you wanted. Well, that's because it's chicken thighs versus like using a breast. It's very good. So right. is it what you thought you wanted? I think so. I'm going to put some of the Juice on me. Juice on my. I put it on dad's rice, but I didn't see it. So we just did bath time and bedtime. Luca is down for sleep. He had a big day today. Um, at least I feel like he had a big day today. Kind of just being bounced back and forth between me and Kevin playing with him and um, him getting to see my dad tonight. I wasn't going to put my dad on the spot to be on camera yet but um just know he was here i think you guys could hear when i was trying the dinner tonight which i completely forgot to get a freaking photo of i'm gonna have to try to take like a screenshot which isn't gonna be great quality but it's that meal is going to go in our book because it was good the only thing that i wish i would have done from the beginning was add that tablespoon of um or maybe a teaspoon i guess it just depends how much garlic you like but um i'm pretty sure I, i'm pretty sure i did a tablespoon of minced garlic all, all the way from the beginning because i feel like that really upped the flavor and i'm also really happy that i trusted the um recipe and did the ginger because it it was like a little gingery in some bites but like it was the good authentic I don't want to say Chinese flavor but like it was that good authentic like Asian flavor that I was like looking for so anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and edit the vlog Kevin's hooking up his trailer for tomorrow morning he's gotta take it to work to do something and um we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night hang out so i'm so glad to be feeling better and i will see you guys tomorrow toodles